Hi, I'm Sam at Shaper HQ. In this video, we're going to look at Origin's uh, mechanical performance in its Z-axis, how quickly it can retract out of the material when we drift too far beyond our intended cut path. In this demo, we're going to look at the speed the Z-axis retracts the bit to uh, prevent damaging your workpiece if anything goes wrong, if you drift too far from a curve or we lose track of markers. So I'm clicking the button. Beautiful. We've seen the Z-axis retract quickly out of the way, and uh, so that's its mechanical abilities. Now we're going to look at how that influences our cutting quality. So this circle we see on screen is our uh, corrective range. So that's the area the tool can move to compensate for our motion. As it reaches the limit of this, we'll see it become a dotted line as it crosses over. Uh, it can no longer uh, track that line as it's, it's beyond its corrective range. So it will try to retract as quickly as possible and get out of the way. Now, at the moment, in its current form, it does that at the very limit of the tool. We can obviously add software smarts to uh, make it predict that we're accelerating towards an edge faster than we can retract. So in this example, we'll just look at it in its raw state and uh, see how quickly it gets out of the way. So I'm going to cut this line. Uh, you'll see um, half an inch of corrective motion is more than enough for me to keep the tool on this line and move quite rapidly. So I'm going to move along this line cutting and then I'm going to intentionally move to the side and see how quickly the tool gets out of the way and what impact that has on our cut. Then I'm just going to go back and continue the cut and we'll zoom in and review that. So I'll set that up now. So you'll see we have a clean cut running most of the way along here, and then where we went beyond the range at a modest rate, the tool uh, retracted as quickly as it could and left this little neck.